Hey, it's Pat here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes as I actually produce a few podcast episodes for you. I'm not going to be recording these entire episodes. In fact, these episodes have already been recorded. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be recording the intro. And by doing this, I'm going to get some stuff done. But at the same time, you looking over my shoulder will allow you to see sort of the workflow and the production strategies that we use to make sure we get through things quite quickly. Now I'm going to obviously go a little bit slower so I can explain things along the way, but I'm going to show you some uh, special templates and spreadsheets. I'm going to show you uh, actually what I record into in terms of a software and how I try to become as efficient as possible because this is over a thousand episodes recorded and the more you do something, obviously the better and more efficient you can become at it. Uh, not only will you be more productive, but you're just going to be happier in the end and your team will be happier too. And so all that and more today in today's episode. Thanks for joining me today as I crunch some things that uh, I didn't have time to do last week and you look over my shoulder and we do it together. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much. This is the income stream to help you achieve your dream. Oh, while we keep it clean, this is the income stream. It's the kind of show where you can come and go, but then you leave inspired with no fee required. The income stream with Pat Flynn. Okay, sweet. So, uh, podcasting, absolutely a huge, huge part of my business. In fact, the number one thing that's allowed me to grow, really. And I know that you're here on YouTube watching me right now, but honestly, the, the podcast has done so much for the brand in terms of building relationships, getting found, over 65 million downloads of the podcast. Uh, but today we're talking about a different podcast. We're talking about Ask Pat. So Ask Pat, for those of you who don't know, was a thousand episodes of just answering people's questions. I use a tool called SpeakPipe. I'm actually going to show this to you right now because SpeakPipe was a really amazing tool that helped us and SpeakPipe.com is really cool because it is a tool that allows you to receive voice messages, right? And voice messages are great because you can then include those voice messages in your podcast. And so what I did for, I don't know how many, a thousand episodes, really, I, I do know, I asked the audience to ask Pat, me, a question, hence the name of the show, Ask Pat. Now this was validated first, in fact, on my other show, my main show. And many times I recommend, if you wanna experiment with a second show, First, try it out on your main channel. That way you can get a taste for it and see if you even like it. But you can even uh, then begin to see if your audience even likes it. And so we did a few sort of bring questions in from the audience, put them into Smart Passive Income at the end of the episodes. And we heard some great feedback about it. And at the same time, we heard people say, yeah, these are great, but it would be nice if they were in their own space. So Ask Pat was created a thousand episodes of collecting voicemail questions. What's really cool about speakpipe.com is you're able to direct people to, for example, speakpipe.com slash Pat Flynn. This is where I, I have people go to leave me a voice message if they're applying to be on Ask Pat, because as you can see here now, it says Ask Pat 2.0, and Ask Pat 2.0 is a little bit different. Ask Pat 2.0 now, after a thousand episodes of answering questions, I wanted to go deeper. So now it's actually a coaching call, and this is a part of the application process. But either way, this tool is really amazing because you get this file back as an MP3 that you can then drop into your, uh, your stuff, which is really cool. Uh, Nalufer says, hey, Pat, sorry for the delay. I had my father in hospital. I'm so sorry to hear about that, Nalufer. But we here at, uh, in the quarantine, as well as myself, we just wish you and your father all the best. Hope all is okay. And uh, we, we're we there for you. Uh, Grandma Goody says, I learned to trust Pat Flynn by listening to Ask Pat. That's really cool. So again, confirmation. Thank you, Grandma Goody, that the podcast can do an amazing job for you of reaching out to extended audiences and also building a relationship with them at the same time. Now with Ask Pat, the way we go about it now is we still collect voicemail questions during the application process. Like I said, again, this tool for those of you who are coming in late is called speakpipe.com. And we can use this in all different kinds of ways. You can crowdsource answers from different people. Instead of having to get on a phone conversation or interview with them, you can just have them answer a question and then you can drop all their answers into a particular podcast episode. Or a lot of people use speakpipe for things like customer service, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. Ask Pat, what? No beard. Yeah, totally looks weird, right? Look at that. This was uh, when Let Go came out in 2013. Who's that young man right there? Anyway, thanks for pointing that that out, Uncle Bill, and reminding me how much older I've gotten since then. The Writing Community Chat Show. Hi, all. Hi, Pat. Hi, great to see you here. Thank you so much. So Ask Pat now has changed a little bit because it is now a deeper coaching call. So I do get on a call scheduled, and then I ask questions. We go deep. But like many people who are podcasters, we produce the interview when it's live doing the interview. 
but we don't do the intro or the outro until later. Many podcasters do in fact do it where they actually have the guest on and they're kind of waiting and then they play the intro, right? Like you can be like, all right, I'm about, I'm about to start the podcast. So, you know, I'll cue you in ready. And here we go. This is the and it's like, okay, then it's the actual intro and that's all recorded live. And if you can get to that point, that's great, but it's harder and it's a lot more to coordinate. The beauty of that is there's no need to edit because all the intro and everything is there already. But sometimes you don't even know what to say. I also like recording the interview separate because then I can pull out the best parts when I do the hook to the podcast. So the hook is, of course, like with videos or anything, it's the beginning of the show, the beginning that you can then talk about what's coming. And sometimes with an interview or a coaching call, especially, you don't know what the outcome is going to be. But if I record that first, then record the intro later, I can actually then include a really beautiful intro that will hopefully hook people in for the long term, right? Cool. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my editorial calendar because I am tasked now to create the intro and outro for a few episodes that were recorded a while back. Now, I got to tell you this, and this is really important. If you're going to be recording the intros and outros separate, it is always best to record them soon after you just did the interview. Why do you think that is? Well, the reason that's important is because it's fresh on your mind and you can just kind of remember things. Unfortunately, because these episodes that I am doing the intro for now were recorded a couple of weeks ago or even over a month ago, I actually have to go back and listen to some of this to remind myself about what those conversations were, were about. And then I have to go and um, you know try to connect everything together, right? So that can be sometimes very challenging, but you're gonna hear me go back in time I'm going to go into Squadcast, which is where we actually record the interviews, and you'll be able to actually hear a preview of all that, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my headphones on because I'm going to need to listen to this stuff in a minute. So I got my trusty little AirPods here. I'm just going to put it in one ear because I still like to hear myself talk, especially if I have the sound or noise cancellation thing in it. It's, it's sometimes really strange, uh, but I'm going to connect my AirPods Pro, so just give me still be able to hear, let's see, can you still hear the, uh, the slap here? Okay, you're still good. You're still good. Okay, cool. Uh, so I should be able to hear now anything that I record. So let's, let's, if you guys don't mind, I'm just literally going to go through this process as if I'm just working through it because I am tasked to do, in fact, let me see what the numbers of those episodes are just so we can be in alignment. And that is going to be episode 1057, 1058, and 1059. You're also going to see where I drop these episodes, and then my team runs with it, right? So that's a part of production as well. It's like, how much uh, involvement do you need? And then you hand it off to somebody else, and they kind of take it from there. So, okay, cool. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Beth, Rose, Anita, Stephanie, Nalufar, and Scrap Happy. Jeremy, welcome in. Thanks for being here today. We are behind the scenes as I produce some podcast episodes for y'all. And I'm going to close Slack now just in case there's any notifications. We're getting rid of the do not disturb, or we're actually turning on do not disturb, and we're ready to go. Okay, so where are we going to start? We're going to start here with this spreadsheet. This spreadsheet is something that helps guide us in terms of uh, what goes and when. What goes where and when. So as you can see here, we have the post date. So we're already, where are we? Right here, kind of in between 21st and 28th. I do have a handy calendar here. Mindy and my team creates this for us. And um, this is where you can go to content plan. It's really important to plan ahead. I don't like to just record an episode and go, okay, well, what's coming next week? And then have to scramble to figure that out. There's a lot of weight and there's a lot of pressure when you do it that way. And I prefer to, in fact, just have at least a bit of understanding of what's coming next. So I'm never in that, in that pressure, right? So next we're gonna go into, uh, the episodes that we need. So we need this one, this one, and this one. So 157, 158, and 159. These are coming out about a month from now. So we're about a month ahead of time. And I believe that this one was already recorded. So this one is uploaded to Dropbox already. So I have these handy dandy notebooks. I mean, handy dandy drop down menus that allow us to go, okay, these are not recorded yet. Guest is scheduled, recorded, uploaded, published, or stuck for whatever reason. All these episodes were actually recorded through, as you can see, this one here, we're recorded through April already in terms of the actual episode or the actual coaching call, but the intros, I still have a whole bunch to do. So I'm gonna go through one, two, and three, to, uh, or three today. So one, 
156, or excuse me, 157, 158, and 159. Are we meant to see guest email addresses? You are not, so I apologize about that. Thank you for letting me know. And I'm just going to go dark really quick for right now. Sorry about that. I should be able to zoom in, right? I think I should. There we go. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, so let's go back in here and we're going to go to uh, 157. So that's what we need to do, 157. So I'm gonna go into Squadcast right now. Squadcast, S-Q-U-A-D-C-A-S-T dot F-M. This is the tool that we use to record our interviews, whether it's on Smart Passive Income or also on, um, Check this out. I'm interviewing Chris Voss. If you don't know who Chris Voss is, Chris Voss is the author of uh, Never Split the Difference. Ex-FBI negotiator. It's going to be super cool. That's for smart passive income. But I'm going to look at previous sessions. So uh, Michael Hyatt, um, Nick from PokeRev, Jay Klaus. And so I'm going to go back to who is this? So this is why this, this calendar is really helpful. So 1157, Genevieve Leovold. Genevieve Leovold. So let me go back. There's Genevieve there, January 5th. And let's play this just so I can hear it. So it gives you, Squadcast gives you a raw file from their end, a raw file from your end, and then you can actually uh, choose to mix them. So that way I can actually listen to it. So let's just play this and see what this episode was about. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm gonna do system audio. Okay, it doesn't look like that's coming through. Let me see, hold on. I really wanna make sure that, that you guys can hear this with me. So system preferences, sound, and ah, if I go to Ecamm app audio, then it should come through. Two and one. Genevieve, welcome to Ask Pat 2.0. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, thank you for having me. It's really exciting to be on the podcast. <laughs> I, I'm very thankful for you, and I think we should start out by learning a little bit about you first. So Genevieve, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and what it is that you do? Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to remind myself about what this was about, and that way I can uh, craft an intro that at least gives some context to who it is that we're coaching. Two and one. Right, there's a lot of things going on in the world right now. Um, um, yeah, more, more time in the studio for sure, um, and more time okay i'm remembering now this like is bringing back puzzles. memories she's an artist i love jigsaw puzzles they're fun um <laughs> when it comes to selling your art it usually happens in person you go to these okay so now i'm reminded that she's selling her art she's trying to figure out how to balance and again i'm just reminded of this this is the importance of doing this soon after the conversation because then you don't have to fumble and, th and think about it. This is a waste of time right but again i'm just showing you i don't always get it right ideally i want to record these intros right after these are done so that I can just be fresh on my mind, right? So she is an artist who's trying to balance, you know, creation of her art with creation of content. And we come up with some really good solutions for that. So the idea that she wants to art, she wants to be fully sort of in her head with her art when she's painting, but then she's worried about turning the camera on and then having to worry about editing and angles and all this stuff. So that's kind of the gist of this particular episode. So Genevieve, Leovold. And if I go to the end of the episode here, I can often get uh, the sort of call to action, which sometimes I just like to have as well, if that's available. So let's play the and end. One more time, Genevieve. And, and if you could spell it out for us, just so we know where to go, uh, Instagram and, and your website. Okay. So Instagram is at Genevieve Leovold. That's G-E-N-E-V-I-E-V-E-L-E-A-V-O-L-D. And then- Cool. I got what I need. Okay. Let's go produce this episode intro and outro now. So here we are in Adobe Audition. I'm gonna go full screen with this. And what I like to do is just go to File, Open Recent, and then I look at, look at this. These, these are my recent file uh, files, so ads that we've recorded. But here's one that's often used. Ask Pat Master 2020. And what this does is it brings the intro of Ask Pat already here, and it's already literally queued up. See how the marker is not in the beginning? It's at eight seconds right now. That's so that I can literally just hit record and go. Now, sometimes because I move around the audio for the stream and stuff, sometimes I have to go back in here and make sure that uh, the um, all the all the uh, stuff is working the way it should. 
But what I'm going to do is hit record. Actually, I want to use the Scarlet, which is this one right here. So I actually, because I'm live right now, this is a little bit more difficult to manage. But uh, input, I want to do Scarlet 2i2. Yes. And default output. Okay, that should be good. So hopefully, I'm going to play this, and hopefully you'll be able to hear it. So that's the intro. And again, this intro is already baked in here as part of the file. This is so important. If you're ever going to be doing something over and over again, and there are files or sound bites or anything that you know is going to always be included, create a master file that you can work off of. Because after I record this, I'm going to save it as the new file. And then you're going to see that this is ready to go. And then I always have that master file to go to. Also, always create a backup file too. So I have two versions of ASPAT, the, the master file that again, includes this waveform of the ASPAT 2.0 intro. Again, this is the podcast. For those of you coming in late, you're behind the scenes as I'm just producing um, a podcast. I actually already recorded the interview portion and I'm coming back later now today to record the intro and the outro. And you're gonna see me sort of in real time do this. What's up, Pokey Kobe? Glad to see you here. But here's the intro one more time, as you can hear. Dot com. Dot com. And then it just goes. So again, this file was already here with this available. I didn't have to go into a folder and drag and drop it in here. It's already here. So a few things that are going through my head. Number one, I got notes from this episode, 1157. Then I have the number 1157. And I just have the thing that I'm used to saying, right? So let's record this and see what happens. So I'm going to record it into uh, this one right here and hit this record button and we should be ready to go. So now, as you can see, as I'm chatting, and I think it's this mic right here, right? Not this mic here, that's you guys. Okay, cool, this is working. I was worried about having way too many uh, things uh, at the same time. Who recorded your intro music? Uh, thank you, Mike. So it's actually Mike and Isabella from musicradiocreative.com. You give them the kinds of notes that you want, you pick the style and they create it for you. It worked really, really cool. All right, here we go, uh, 1157 with Genevieve Leovold. Genevieve Leovold. I'd say the name a couple times if it's a hard one, just so I can get it. Here we go. Ready? Let's do this. Dot com. Ask Pat. Dot com. What's up, everybody? Paflin here, and welcome to episode 1157 of Ask Pat 2.0. This is a podcast where you get to listen in on a coaching call between an entrepreneur just like you. All right, I said that incorrectly, but I'm also noticing that these waveforms are quite small. So let's listen to this together and see how it comes through. What's up, everybody? Paflin here, and welcome to episode 1,157. So as you can see, I'm a little bit further away from the mic. I think I noticed that. You want to look at the waveforms. If something is off for some reason, you can capture that now instead of at the end. So I'm going to delete that. And I think it's because this mic here, I'm talking to you like it's live, but in a podcast, this is usually right next to my mouth. And a little bit closer. So as you can see, the waveforms are a little bit higher. Let's just test this. One, two, three. Mic check. One, two, three. Okay, that's going to be a little bit better. So notice how close my mouth is. And this is why I don't live stream with this microphone. It sounds amazing, but then I'd be sitting like this and my, you know, it'd be on my face the whole time. Great job getting the audio straight on this. It can be really complicated to go live and try to play back record at the same time. Yeah, I don't know how, but it worked out. Okay, let's try this again. What's up, everybody? Paflin here, and welcome to episode 1157 of Ask Pat 2.0. You're about to listen to a coaching call between myself and an entrepreneur just like you. And today is a special one because we're talking to Genevieve Leopold, who is actually an artist. And the cool thing about this conversation is she's an artist, she's a painter, she paints these beautiful paintings. But unfortunately, she also needs to go out there and sell her paintings, and she wants to use social media. But it's a little bit hard for her because when she's painting, she needs to be fully invested into her paintings. But then social media likes to see these things happen at the same time. So how do we balance content creation versus the art creation? That's what we're talking about with G uh, uh, G Genevieve today. And so make sure to sit back, relax, listen in. And I'm sure there's going to be something in here for you that you can relate to. And uh, you'll, you'll get a sense of just... I mean, what we came up with was brilliant. And, and it was sort of a team effort. So make sure you stick around and listen to that. Here we go. All right, so that's the intro to that episode. And of course, I could play it back if I if I wanted to. I think it sounded pretty okay. Uh, there were a couple stumbling moments where I was struggling and I forgot her name for like a half second. But you know what? It's all good. It's real life. I'm not going to stress over it because I'd much rather get 95% of it done and then out there versus like spending 45 
hours working on something that, you know, that little mistake isn't going to make a big difference with. So let's just play the end of this so I can remember where I left off. Of a team effort. So make sure you stick around and listen to that. Here we go. Okay, so I set up the episode intro and there you go. Now here's what I do next. You're going to hear me do a click. It might be, actually it won't be loud. It'll be loud in here, but it doesn't matter because what'll what'll happen is you're going to see a waveform when I click. I'm literally going to go, you can do a clap if you want to, three claps if you want to see that. Because what that does is it lets the editor know that that's like where the intro ends and then where the outro begins, right? where the intro ends and the outro begins is right there. So they just know where to cut off, right? So I'm just gonna hit record. All right, I hope you enjoyed that coaching call with Genevieve Leovold again. All the notes are on the show notes page on the website at askpat.com for this episode. And Genevieve, thank you so much for coming in. I'm looking forward to chatting with you again in the future to see how you've implemented these things and now how we've helped you sort of set these cameras up and sort of leave them be so that you can fully focus on the art that you are creating. Thank you again. And thank you, the listener, for coming in and listening all the way through. I appreciate you so much. If you want to get coached here on Ask Pat, just like Genevieve did today, all you have to do is go to askpat.com. And there's a button on that page to click to apply to be on the show. Now, I cannot select everybody, but it's true that I'm not going to select you unless you actually apply. So do that because we're always looking for new stories, new people to help here and coach on the show. And it's one of my favorite things to do. And as always, make sure you hit subscribe because we often bring people back. And I plan on bringing Genevieve back in the future. And stick around because later this month, you're actually going to hear somebody who was once on the show before coming back in a Where Are They Now episode, which used to be just at the end of the year, we would share those. But we're actually, we're sharing them at the end of every month now. So make sure you don't miss that. Hit subscribe. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And again, askpat.com if you want to apply. And also, you can check out our other shows in our archive there too. Thanks so much. Take care. I appreciate you. And as always, Team Flynn for the win. Peace. All right. There was the episode. So that worked out really good. The outro was fine. And I'll actually play this for you so you'll hear what that click sounds like. But as you can see right here, this click, it's 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 so obvious that, okay, that's where something ends. And this is another place where something begins. Let me just play that. Oops. It played at the end where the, the little header was. Stick around and listen to that. Here we go. There you go. So that's it. So now here's what I do. File, save as, ask pat dash, did I put a dash in there? 1157, ask pat dash 1157. I go to browse. And then I'm going to go to ask pat here on my sidebar. This is really important because this allows me to easily find the link. And this is going into Dropbox. I have Dropbox connected to my desktop in such a way that I can actually upload things through my desktop to Dropbox. I don't need to sign into Dropbox and drag and drop or do anything. I'm just literally doing that here too. So as you can see, I'm in the intros, outros folder. Let me go back to here so you can see what's going on. We have the coaching sessions for all of these. And then we have a folder for the intros and outros. And this is what my editor uses to go, okay, let's combine these two together, the coaching sessions and then Pat's intros and outros. Again, the intros and outros literally in the same file. You just heard me record it. And that way it's just super easy to do. And the editor can cut it up him or herself. So I'm gonna go in here, create a new folder, 1157, enter, 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 three enters. What I also do to help out just in case is I export this as a WAV file altogether, just in case that was a uh, per request of my editor. And again, that's just really easy and simple to do here. I chose the same folder. Again, here's the out intro outro folder, 1157, hit okay. We're good to go. File, close all, file, open. Again, the master file, and we're ready to do this again, right? Selecting the right microphone, ready to hit record. Now we're ready to go to the next episode. So we are done with 1157. Now I don't go in after each one. I do this at the end, but now it's a point where I can go back in here. I can go upload it to Dropbox. There we go. Now my editor tells me I need a title for this one. Uh, the title, for, how do I create social media content while working on my craft? There we go. And that episode's done. Now the editor is going to know that everything is, is there that they need and they can take it. And I'm literally hands off the rest of the way through, right? Literally hands off the rest of the way through. Ryan says, I know you've done so many episodes, but do you have a general script or does it just come naturally on what you say 
for your intro and outro? Great question, Ryan. So for the intro specific to the guest that often I have to think about ahead of time, I have had a lot of practice obviously doing this so often where I kind of know what to say to get people interested in listening all the way through or at least pull out some of the parts from the middle of the episode that I can mention. But the other parts like, hey everybody, welcome to episode 1158 of Ask Pat 2.0. You're about to listen to a coaching call between myself and an entrepreneur just like you. And that that just came over time and it's just become this thing that I've said uh, over and over and over again, if that makes sense, right? Thumbs up for the amazing host, Pat Flynn says a positively lifestyle. Thank you so much. I'm late, but I'm here. Thank you, Tamara. Thumbs up for the amazing host. Uh, oh, I already read that. <laughs> cool. So Kathy says, I'm feeling like a podcast slacker. You know, trust me, I didn't do this on day one. I didn't do this through 500 episodes. It took a long time to get here, but I'm passing this on to you so you can do this kind of stuff as soon as possible so that you can just kind of get the um, the sort of like rhythm going, right? Uh, if you wanted to write a script, you can totally do that ahead of time. But as you can tell, we're already on the next episode, which is going to be this one here. Where are they now? Laylee from Superkit. 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 This is a great episode. I remember specifically, but I'm going to go back and find Laylee just in case. So where was Laylee? Laylee, Laylee. Here she is. I recorded this one in, fe in, in, in December. Let's listen to Laylee. Actually, that's Laylee's mix. Uh, we want the mix of both. Three, of two, and one. Layla, welcome back to Ask Layla. Pat. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us again. Oh, it's my absolute pleasure. I'm so happy to be here. See, Layla. I'm so excited to hear how the business has been going since episode 1069. Uh, if you might recall that episode, uh, we talked about scaling up your business. You were just kind of starting out and and online, and were wondering ways to sort of expand. And and I'm excited to get an update uh, from you today. I'd I'd love to start with perhaps what were if you can remember. Okay, let me go back to the end now. First of all, thank you so yeah. much. It's um, it's been instrumental in our journey, and it's really nice to just kind of check back in and, and be able to say thank you. Um, so again, what am I doing? I'm listening to this just so I can recall this conversation. Again, cannot stress this enough. If you're going to be recording your intros slash outros for episodes separate from the actual interview itself, do them as soon as you can because you will forget. I mean, this I have to go back to December 4th, right? I'm going back to December 4th to have to remember this conversation so I can record an intro and an outro for it. And that's that's just inefficient, right? That's just absolutely uh, inefficient. So let's hit play. Um, it was Superkit, right? Let's see, Superkit. I just want to get the URL right, Laylee. Okay, superkit.co. This, this is a pretty bomb website. She is somebody who creates really cool collars like cat collars, like blinged out cat collars. Mark, welcome to Team Flint Platinum. Thank you so much. So uh, her business has just exploded. I mean, you'll hear it in this episode, but cat harnesses, cat leashes, all things cat, super kit, handmade, like really legit stuff, designer type stuff, which is pretty cool. So that that's pretty awesome. So now I'm fully remembering this episode and I can go back to here and begin recording. Okay, this is episode 1,158. This is a Where Are They Now episode with Laylee from superkit.co, superkit.co. All right, let's do this. Again, you're behind the scenes watching me record some intros and outros so I can just show you my process. What's up everybody, Paflin here and welcome to episode, oh. <laughs> let's play that, let's just see what happens. Oh. What's up everybody, Paflin here and welcome to episode, oh. <laughs> okay, I forgot because it's hard. I'm recording live, so I'm talking to you like this, but my mic is down here, right? I gotta, I gotta bring it up closer like that. There we go. Let's try that again. Awesome. What's up, everybody? Paflin here, and welcome to episode 1,158 of Ask Pat 2.0. You're about to listen to a coaching call between myself and an entrepreneur like you. And this is a special episode because this is a Where Are They Now episode. Back in episode 1069, we recorded an interview with Laylee, the founder of Supakit, S-U-P-A-K-I-T dot co, by the way, where she was challenged with scaling and growing her business. Supakit is a business that helps uh, cat owners with some really cool blinged out leashes, harnesses, and so forth. And now we're back with her nearly two years later to chat about what has happened since then. What did she take away from that episode? And I'll tell you, 
the results are pretty mind-blowing. Let's give credit to where it's due. Laylee did all the work. I'm just the guide, but I'm here to help all of you today. So make sure you stick around, listen all the way through. And then at the end, I'll tell you how you can get coached like Laylee did as well. So here she is, Laylee from superkit.co. All right, I hope you enjoyed that conversation and catch up with Laylee. Again, you can check her out at supa, S-U-P-A, kit.co, supakit.co. And she's doing a super job with her business. Laylee, thank you so much again for uh, coming back with us. And this is one of my favorite things to do. If you are listening to this and you're inspired and you are not subscribed to the show, please go ahead and do that. Do that now. Whatever app you're on right now, I want to help you further. You're going to get to listen in on even more coaching calls like this down the road. We're going to every month bring a Where Are They Now episode back into the mix as well. And I might be able to help coach you personally too. All you have to do is go to askpat.com and right there you'll find a button to potentially apply and get picked. Now you have to apply to get picked, but I cannot pick everybody unfortunately, but we're always looking for new stories and people to come up and bring on the show so we can help out. And by you allowing us to share this live with everybody, I mean, it, it, it helps so many more people. So I appreciate you so much. And Laylee, again, thank you so much for allowing us to share this. And I'm looking forward to potentially working with you. So again, askpat.com. Oh, and by the way, thank you for all the amazing reviews that have been coming in since the last time I asked. It's just so helpful. I read them all. Thank you. And if you happen to have a chance to take a second to leave a review for Ask Pat on Apple, that would be uh, really, really helpful. Anyway, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe because we got another killer episode coming at you next week where you get to listen in like a fly on a wall to myself and an entrepreneur like you. So thanks again. Take care. I'll see you next week. Cheers. And as always, Team Flynn for the win. Peace. File. Save as. Ask Pat 1158. I'm going to go here to browse. I'm going to go back to um, the intro outro folder. New folder 1158. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'm going to go and export a WAV file for my editor. And then we're going to go to that folder and take out mix down. OK. And that is uploading to Dropbox as we speak. Close all file. Open recent, ask Pat master. Let's get the audio hooked up and we're ready to record the next episode. There you go. That was it, right? So this behind the scenes stuff, I hope you enjoy. Um, you know, I know sometimes that when we're trying to get things working on, you know, productive and efficient, you know, sometimes it may feel like just, it's just cattywampus, right? But over time, you can get it. And you can find the efficiencies. And I'm just showing you a way that I found to be efficient with the workflow and the specific outputs that we need and that my team needs in order to produce this. But um, again, I hope that you're just enjoying seeing this um, behind the scenes. Um, cool. So anyway, I appreciate you so much. Uh, I haven't read all of the chat, but I do see Grandma Goody. It seems like something happened and we are there for you. Uh, if you need to reach out and chat, just let me know. I'd love to, to, to just make sure you're okay and I care about you so much. Uh, I really needed this. Thanks, Pat, says Lanoufer. No worries. Yes. Nice job getting that word. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're just traveling really fast today. We're going to hyperspace. So let's do another episode for you. So that was episode 1,158. This is cool because I'm literally marking off tasks on my to-do list today while live with you. So I'm like, hey, we might as well get that done. I might as well show you. We might as well learn together. And I get some stuff done. My team's very appreciative because they got stuff that I didn't have before like I should have done because sometimes I fall behind because there's a lot of things going on. Caddy Wampus. Okay. Which streaming software are you using right now? Uh, we are using, um, what are we using? Oh, we're using Ecamm Live, sorry. <laughs> Ecamm Live. Um, if you want to check out my entire live setup, by the way, you can go to patflin.com slash right? patflin.com live dash setup, live dash, dash setup. Cool. Uh, let's do another one because I only have one more to do. 1159. Let's see how quickly we can do this. So 1159. So we did the, where are they now? This is Aaron LeBauer, Aaron LeBauer. So let's find Aaron here. Aaron, there's Aaron did the little fine thing. Let's play to see if I can remember again, the whole reason I keep saying this is because it's such a pain to go back and have to remember what these episodes were about. Go back and, or, or in the future, when you record an episode and you know you need to record the intro or outro separately, do yourself, do your future self a favor and like just record it soon after, okay? 
All right, three, two, one. Hey, Aaron, what's up? Welcome to Ask Pat. Thanks for being here, my friend. Hey, Pat. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm honored to be here. Oh, I appreciate it, and I'm excited to dig in. So why don't we start with having you tell us a little bit about who you are and what it is that you do? I don't remember this conversation yet. Yeah, I'm, I've got a couple different hats that I wear. Um, a husband and a father, but uh, number one thing I do is I'm a physical therapist who helps other passionate physical therapists scale their time, income, and impact. Cool. So you're a PT that helps other PTs. Mm -hmm. Love it. Uh, where can we go find more about your business? Like where's the URL and all that stuff? Yeah, the number one uh, place is AaronLeBauer.com. And uh, that's A-A-R-O-N-L-E-B with a, like a boy, A-U-E-R. So, Very cool. How long have you been online doing that? Um, I've been doing that for about okay. seven, eight years. So I remember the conversation now. I'm trying to remember what he struggled with. And again, this is such the importance of doing this soon after, right? What's up, Master Blaster? Good to see you. We're behind the scenes as I'm recording some intros from podcast episodes that I recorded a long time ago. I, keep, I cannot stress this enough. Record your intros and outros soon after you do this because I'm having to go back into the past how many days? 20 days. And I, I am struggling to remember what we were discussing here. I have a bunch of other systems, but they have a, a system where you can white label it. I can load in my emails and get people started and hand it off to them. I was thinking about something like that. Is that something similar to what you're saying where I take this thing that I usually teach, but I can make it into a product and uh, okay, then sell it as a service and we preload it and they kind of run with it. Efficiencies. Yes. Either that or, or even as an add on, because mm -hmm. let me know if this is true, that's going to save them time and it's going to save you time. Right. Mm -hmm. And that is something uh, you could either charge for, or just know that that's baked into the thing so that coaching, you aren't baked to the thing um, anymore. And that's just one example. I mean, email marketing is just one small component of a much larger whole and there's likely other things. Okay. Sometimes I like to go to the end. I'm remembering this conversation now. It's coming back to and, me. Right? And, you know, in this environment, you know, uh, take yourself out of it, but put more into it as well at the same time. So I, I, I like that approach. And uh, one more time, Aaron, where can people go and, and check okay, you out? Let's go back. I'm, I don't have it all figured out either. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. That's because I've, I've attended a few different ones and like, I see some things I like and, you know, I just figured like, I know you've put on that event and it's an amazing event. So to have your insights is uh, really valuable. So thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. And I'm sure I'm going to publicly share more stuff along the way on the podcast and whatnot. But anyway, Aaron, this has been really great. Thank you for okay, what? perhaps read some reviews of other events that have happened to kind of mm -hmm. get some insight and inspiration. Cool event. Yeah, I think if there was a possibility for people to get to see and know virtual each other beforehand. Events. Virtual events. Thank you. Okay, that's what I, I knew there was something else. He wants to run virtual events and wants to do it in a unique sort of way. There we go. Okay, I got it again. Ugh, I hate having to go back and try to remember these conversations. If only I had just spent literally five minutes. I mean, you saw how quick it was for me to, to do these. But sometimes we record the episode. We're like, we're done. We did it. And then you have to come back. And then it's just so stressful. So anyway, excuse me. How y'all doing? You good? You just watching? Because uh, I haven't seen chat a chat coming in a while. I just want to make sure you guys are cool. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. So now let's get started. So here I am in Adobe Audition. This is episode 1,159 with Aaron LeBauer, right? Aaron LeBauer. And uh, we're going to go. Here we go. What's up, everybody? Pat Flynn here, and welcome to episode 1,159 of Ask Pat 2.0. You're about to listen, just like a fly on a wall, into a conversation. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Every time I try to go off script, it just kind of messes up. Let's try it again. Dot hub. Okay, oops. Let me give myself a little bit more time. Dot com. Ask Pat. Dot hub. What's up, everybody? Paflin here, and welcome to episode 1,159 of Ask Pat 2.0. You're about to listen to a coaching call between myself and an entrepreneur just like you. And today we're talking with Aaron LeBauer, who is a physical therapist who teaches other physical therapists, right? This was his profession. Now he's helping others do it and become more efficient with it and whatnot. And we do discuss about a lot of things related to becoming more efficient in the business, monetizing the business better, as well as potentially how might one create a virtual event, right? As we all know, I mean, here in early 2021, at the time of this recording, uh, the pandemic, it's still going on. People are still not able to go out to real in-person conferences. So virtual conferences have become the answer, at least for right now. And it's always been around, but even more so now it's important than ever to think about it at least. And Aaron wants to think about it and discuss it as well. So we're gonna talk about those things and more today in this episode. Thanks, sit back, relax. Here is Aaron LeBauer, here we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed that coaching call with Aaron LeBauer. Uh, you can again, find him at just his name, 
A-A-R-O-N-L-E-B-A-U-E-R.com. And if you know anybody who happens to be a physical therapist who might want to learn more from Aaron, just check him out there at his .com. And Aaron, thank you again for coming in today. We talked about a lot of different things, which is great. And hopefully you, the listener, have pulled away at least one or two things that can help you in your business too. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this affects you. And I'm looking forward, forward, I don't know why I said it that way. Uh, I'm looking forward to potentially not just interviewing you, but coaching you as well. If you would like to get coached here on AskPat, just like Aaron did today, all you have to do is go to askpat.com, fill out the application, and you'll have a chance. I cannot pick everybody, but the truth is you'll not have any chance if you don't apply. So apply there, send us a little voice message about what you're going through and what we can help you with, and I may, re- I might reach back out to you uh, sometime soon or maybe sometimes later, but it's not going to happen unless you do it. So askpat.com is where you want to go. You can also check out some of the other episodes there too. And if you're not yet subscribed to the show, what are you doing? We got so much great stuff coming your way, including even more of the fan favorites, which are the Where Are They Now episodes. We're a thousand and some odd episodes through, and we bring people back all the time to go, what have you implemented? What have you done? What's changed? What is working for you now? What didn't work from the advice I gave you, right? Isn't that interesting? Because now you can fast forward your success by learning from others who are in it just like you. So make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. I look forward to serving you next week and uh, keep on, keep it on. Appreciate you so much. And I look forward to uh, all the fun times we're going to have. What am I saying right now? Okay, so here's the thing. My brain just kind of farted right there. So I'm just going to go back to the last, like, good last point. I'm going to bring you next week. And uh, there. And I'm going to hit, I think it's Control-K. Is it not here? Okay. So that was a shortcut, right? Know your shortcuts, people. You just have to know, like, three of them, right? You just got to take 15 minutes. Because I could have gone, okay, let's go here, let's go to clip, let's go to split, let's go here, and then click this, versus just, I did command K to split it, which is for whatever reason it's command K, I have no idea, I just learned that. And again, I'm in Adobe Audition, this is similar to GarageBand, similar to Audacity, but know your shortcuts, people. The most common ones that you want to do, just learn those, because it'll save you loads of time, especially if you do this over and over and over and over again, right? Cool. So let's finish this off. What did I say? (laughs) If you haven't already, I look forward to serving you next week. And uh... all right. Keep working not just hard, but smart. I'll see you soon. Cheers, take care, and as always, Team Flynn for the win. Peace. Okay, that was a weird ending, but I think we're good there. So here we go. File save as, not save. If you accidentally hit save, you've just ruined your entire master file, which is why you want to have a backup because save and save as are right next to each other, right? So now I'm going to go ask Pat 1159. I'm going to go to browse. I'm going to go back to that folder, which was uh, not 158, but I can go one under from that. So this is the intro outro folder in Dropbox. And yes, I'm saving directly into Dropbox here. 1159. And hit enter, enter, enter. We're good to go. I'm going to make a WAV file too, just so it's there in case everything is good. And we're going to go here. Let's select that same folder, and we're good to go. All right, we just crushed three. So now we have to go back to our spreadsheet, and I need to create a title for this one. But we we did the super kit one already. So that one we did. We did the one right before that, 157. And 159, March's first episode with Aaron LeBauer, is now uploaded to Dropbox as well. Okay, now this one just needs a title. Um how to effectively coach and monetize your brand plus uh, and how to run a virtual virtual event. So that's a few things. I don't necessarily, I mean, this is, there wasn't really a clear, like this is what they were struggling with because this episode had a bunch of different things in it, right? But I don't, I don't need this anymore. But actually, it makes it look cool, right? We're talking about podcasting today, so I'm just going to have this in frame. So it looks like I'm talking to this, even though that's not the one. That's the one. So anyway, uh, we're good to go there. And now all I have to do is I'm going to open up Slack. I'm not going to show you because there might be some... I can't roll my letters. I hate the fact that I can't do that because in Spanish class in middle school, everybody or in high school, everybody could roll their R's and letters. I can't. It just doesn't work. 
So uh, let's go back in here, and I'm going to find David, who's our podcast editor, and I'm just going to find the string where he was like, you need to do these episodes, and I'm going to be like, okay, I did, and, and here you go. Uh, at David, 1156, 1157, or no, no, excuse me, 1157, 1158, and 1159 are all uploaded for you now. Thanks. There we go. Now the team takes care of everything else, and uh, we're done. We're done, yay! So we have about 14 minutes left to answer questions. So this was a way for me to show you behind the scenes on how I produce my podcast episodes in an efficient manner. And I had to learn how to do this because this show, Ask Pat, for the first 1,000 episodes was a daily show. And I had to crank, right? I had to crank. I did batch process though. It wasn't like every day I was doing this. I would actually do 20 or 30 at a time. And that would just be like my entire day's work. But then guess what? That took care of the entire month and then some. And I love batch processing. It's probably the best thing I could tell you to do. And this is why if, if, for example, I had my perfect podcasting day, here's how it would be structured. I would have interviews scheduled early in the morning and um, maybe some solo shows that I can do as well. Maybe get three or four, maybe even five episodes done. And then take a break for lunch and or take a break at some point because um, that'll probably take me through lunch. And at the end of the day or closing in on the end of the day, I just do all the intros and all the outros for the episodes that were just done. Now, if it's a solo show, then I don't need to do that because the intros are just baked into that one recording. But for interviews that are recorded separately, again, I want to do them all on the same day so they're fresh on my mind and I don't have to go back. And I, the thing that took the most time here today to show you was to have to go back and listen to those episodes and be reminded about what they were about. If you can do it all on the same day, it's going to be that much more efficient. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, track the Ripa says, thank you. This really helps. You're welcome. How do you upload an audio podcast to YouTube? So you have to create a video and then you can put in that audio in that video, but it has to be a video. YouTube is, 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 is video only that just happens to have audio. And so if you're going to upload a podcast, you either have to turn on your camera, like the camera's on right now. And I could record an episode like this, like, Hey everybody, Pat here. Welcome. Thanks, etc." But if you're doing a conversation, maybe it's you're uh, recording the Skype or the Zoom or Squadcast, they're coming out with video interviews very soon, but uh, you can then upload that to YouTube. Now, there's a lot of debate about whether or not you should upload the full episode or just clips. I prefer to have clips because most of your other pre-recorded YouTube videos, if you do have a YouTube channel, are likely gonna be shorter in length as well. It troubles the channel when it starts to see like super long form content that then will have a very low retention rate because people aren't usually sticking around to watch the whole thing unless there's a celebrity, right? That's why Joe Rogan's podcast is doing so well on YouTube is because of the fact that, well, they had celebrities on. Elon Musk was, you know, doing his thing and, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson and whoever else is doing conspiracy related things. So uh, that's why it's interesting enough for Joe Rogan to hold a viewer for hours versus regular people like us who are not celebrities. Um, people often aren't going to stick around and watch. They might as well just listen to the full thing. So I usually break down if I do turn on the camera and I do turn it on the camera every once in a while, especially with interviews with big guests, I still find those moments in the middle of that video slash podcast that I pull out and then put into a video. And I can actually show you because this is actually something that has worked out really well. So if I go to YouTube here and I look up uh, MKBHD Pat Flynn, this is when I interviewed MKBHD. You'll see this video here, five surprising facts about MKBHD's success. And this was, in fact, um, ooh, young Pat without, without a beard. You'll get, to, you'll get to meet him in just a moment. Um, what's really cool is you will, uh, so, so you could either just take the clip and it plays like right away, right? Or you can do what I do here, which is I create an intro and kind of like take different parts of that interview and I put them together. And look, this was from a podcast interview. This has an additional 12,000 views that otherwise wouldn't have happened if I didn't repurpose this. So let's play this and I'll show you how I start it. Hey, what's up Team Flynn? Pat here. You know, the other day I had the amazing opportunity to interview Marcus Brown Lee, also known as MKBHD, somebody who I really look up to, so that was really exciting. But more than that, I was able to dissect and understand exactly how we got his start on YouTube. If you don't know who- Okay. Take you in. Whoops, Peter McKinnon, what are you doing there? I don't know why I, uh, team Flynn, thanks for the thumbs down, still helps the with the algorithm. Um, anyway, I'm not going to play that because it just seems to be super choppy, but here's how it was structured. I took clips from the interview that were really surprising to me and I put them in this video, but I started out by 
pitching. Stick around so you could learn these crazy surprises that I didn't even know existed about MKBHD. One of them being that his first 100 videos, this should provide anybody on YouTube some inspiration. MKBHD, who at the time now has uh, 13.5 million subscribers. He told me during the interview that his first 100 videos were, hit, were for his first 100 subscribers. Like that's pretty legit. That's pretty legit. By the way, now that we're here, I do want to show off a little bit because I'm very proud of this. Deep Pocket Pocket. Deep Pocket Monster. Many of you know I have a YouTube channel now in the Pokemon space. Look at how many subscribers we have now. 1,092. We're experimenting with shorts as well. We have not been picked up on the shorts shelf, but that's like YouTube's TikTok, and we haven't uh, seen any movement there yet. But look at this, 1.92 subs. That is crazy in just six videos. And so we're really excited about that, right? That is really excited. But um, it's 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 climbing really really high. In fact, if I were to show you some of the some of the stats, let me switch accounts here. Deep Pocket Monster. Let's go to the studio because it's been crazy. And this is what happens. Why is this happening? This is what happens when you know exactly the kind of content that your audience has been hungry for, right? Because in the months of research in the Pokemon community space, I've done research to, to figure out what people like, what people don't like, what people feel like is missing, etc. And the analytics are just crazy. So let's go to content here. Our latest video, not, not this shorts video, but the one before that, is about to cross 10,000 views. If we go to analytics, you're going to see exactly how this has climbed. Look at the views there. Actually, we, we have over 10,000 views now. It is just pushing out. And where is it pushing out? Not search. Mm -mm. Not subscribers. Nope. It is pushing out because of what? Because I went to the wrong spot. It is pushing out because suggested videos, because of browse features, right? And what that means is when a person goes, goes and logs into YouTube, YouTube is feeding this video to people who they think will want to watch it. Also important here, let's look at the engagement of this video as well. If I were to go to average view duration, is about uh, nearly 50%. This was actually higher before, but now that it's getting probably sent and tested out with different people, it's less. But in the beginning, the retention rate was 59% with an average view duration of over 10 minutes. This is why it's working really well. And you can also see here, look at this retention graph. This is what makes me most excited. It's pretty much once people are hooked in, it, they're sticking all the way through. And then they come here to, and I'm like, what, what is this? I actually don't know what this is. Oh, this is, okay, so this is when I pulled something in the middle. So let's go here, you can actually see this. Darkness Ablaze. I actually haven't opened up much of this, but there's definitely that Chase VMAX Charizard Ultra Rare, which we all want. And there it is, there it is, let's. That's a $90 card, by the way, that I pulled, and people apparently went back to look at that again and again and again. And then we go here and we're like, oh, what happened at this mark? What do you think happened at the 17 minute mark here? That is a, we gave them the results of the video. Yet we still spoke for another two and a half minutes about thanks again, subscribe, all those things. People are gone because they got what they needed. This is a huge lesson. This is an absolutely huge lesson for all of you, right? This part here where we, where we go over the prices of everything, we add everything up, literally as soon as I totaled this, $480. And the reason why it looks like this is because that's sort of the, old Game Boy look for, for Pokemon. Um, pe people were like, okay, I'm gone. So what should we have done instead? All the call to actions should have been before this, right? So, bef so before we tally this up and before we give you the final numbers, really quick, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure we do this. And I appreciate you. Okay, now let's get to it. Boom. And then end the video right there, right? And then get them into another video. Because, because of this drop, I mean, literally only 16% of the people made it to the end. That's kind of crazy, especially considering a minute before that, over half of the people were still watching. And that just shows me, okay, the end screen where I have, hey, go and watch this next video, right? Which is, you know, if I click here. Well, as it continues to grow again, thank you so much for your support. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, if you like this. Call the actions. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any more videos like this. We've got two or three videos no coming out each left. single week for you as I continue to build my collection, learn the lessons along the way, and that includes failures like this one. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And remember, it was a failure because I bought a $700 box 
you wanted to see how much value was inside. So there was inherent like stickiness to this video, right? We bought a $700 box with a whole bunch of cool cards in it. Let's see what cards we get. Let's see if it actually adds up to 700. It did not, not even close. And so that's why I called it failure, right? Every adventure begins with a choice. Thank you for choosing Deep Pocket Monster. Peace out. And when an actual person's watching this video, it shows two different videos that they can click on. But nobody's clicking that, why? Because they don't even get to the end. They don't even get to the end. Save the loot to the end, like Shark Tank says Lex, right? So anyway, we talked about podcasting. We finished by talking about YouTube here. And I just wanted to show you that because I got in here to show you how I repurposed some stuff. And then I went down this rabbit hole, but the channel's growing. We should get, I was gonna do, I was like preparing for a 1000 subscriber giveaway. We're almost at 2000 now. We might not have to wait till 5,000. And we have not We have more videos coming out that are already um, recorded too. So um, yeah. So again, yeah, Romer's like, it can't be that bad if you're at 1.6 subscribers, 1.6K subscribers. True, it's working. However, if we had done a better job, YouTube could have sent us out to more people. If we can get people sticking around to the end, they're gonna help us out even more, right? It could be 3.6 or even nine or 10K already if we potentially have done those things. Maybe not, but I wanted to just share that with you to show you uh, what the dealio is. I like the analysis. Thanks, Pat, you're welcome. <laughs> cool. Let's see, just checking things. I think that was my Slack and it looks like, okay. Woo, so I'm gonna go eat lunch now and I'm very, very grateful that you were able to stick around today and see some of the behind the scenes, behind the scenes of my podcasting and my efficiencies within it. Hopefully that was helpful as well as some behind the scenes of the brand new Deep Pocket Monster channel, which is again, six videos in almost 2000 subs and um, really excited about that too because the more people we get on that channel, the more I can pass on to you what is working, what's not working, and the more we can experiment and I can give you more information, right? So you can put in and and like, like today, take the things that I'm learning from this channel and pop it into yours as well. So, woo, just came on in time to catch that. Yeah, no worries, Luis. Um, great job today. I got the secret words in, happy. I still owe you one from Monday, cause I, or from Sunday, cause I literally, or Saturday, yeah. I literally forgot it. I, I threw away the um, <laughs> I threw away the paper and I had to go back and watch the end of the video where we picked the secret word because it totally escaped me. So I got the two words in today. And uh, yeah, there we go. Lunchtime, thank you all so much for coming in today. Um, let's, let's just end the show. I think that's it. We don't need to keep going any longer. I'll see you tomorrow though. What time are we starting tomorrow? Great question, thank you. Uh, I asked that question and I'm gonna answer it too. So tomorrow, we are starting at, ooh, guess who I have a conversation with tomorrow? Apollo Ono. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I have a conversation with him at noon. We will begin at 11 a.m. Actually, no, let's do a noon one again. No, sorry, I have a chat with Apollo Ono at noon. <laughs> Okay, yes, the the speed skater, the nine-time gold medal winner. Um, we're just chatting, which is pretty cool. So anyway, let's start tomorrow at 11. 11 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, yes, recycle the paper, that's right. Thanks, everybody, for today. Today was great. Uh, so grateful that you came on, and um, let's keep going. So yeah. 11 a.m. tomorrow. Thanks again. I appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you soon. Peace out, y'all. And as always, Team Flynn for the win. This is the income stream to help you achieve your dream. All while we keep it clean, this is the income stream. It's the kind of show where you can come and go, but then you leave no feedback quiet. The income stream. That felt good. <laughs> Uganda says hi. Hi back. Thank you, Samba. I appreciate you. Thank you to Kathy. Thank you to Lewis, John, Mark, Lex, Nalufer, uh, Grandma Goody, wishing you all the best, uh, Stephanie, and uh, everybody else in the chat. Thank you for being amazing today. Big shout out to all of the blue names here, the moderators holding down the fort. You are amazing. I appreciate you so much. Mark, take care. See you later. Bruh.